Today I wanted to talk to you about some of the learnings that I've found coming into this portfolio over the last 12 months. One of the real learnings for me has been the inconsistency of a lot of our training across the state. And the minimum skills wildfire is a classic example of that. It's been 17 years since we introduced the minimum skills wildfire and what we've seen for a whole bunch of good reasons is the consistency is no longer there. Um, in a lot of areas of the state, they've adapted it to suit themselves, to suit their situations, which is a great thing, but what I don't see um, sitting in my role is consistency across the state. A couple of our um, instructors have come to me to talk about a review of the Minimum Skills Program and have come up with a concept called the General Firefighter Program. Um, it simp put simply, the General Firefighter concept or program is actually about getting consistency back into our training for all new members of CFA. It is training that can be run by brigades. But at a very high level, I set some pretty clear intent for the, for the team who reviewed the minimum skills. And that intent is, we need to be consistent and all new members that are coming into CFA need to have consistent training. We need to make sure that our people are trained to a standard that is safe for them to be um, put on the back of a truck and experience firefighting operations under supervision. And we need to go back to applying the principles of 10% theory, 20% watching other people do it, and 70% learning on the job. That's the high level intent uh, for the general firefighter program. I'm now gonna hand you over to our instructors to have a bit of a look see about the detail of the, the general firefighter program and what it means to you as, as a brigade. The general firefighter program is really an update of the original minimum skills. It's been 18 years since minimum skills were introduced um, as a result of the Linton tragedy where we lost five firefighters. And over that time, um, there hasn't been any major reviews. We figured that let's just have a look at it. Let's get it back to its original intent. And the original intent was to prepare a firefighter with the skills and knowledge necessary to attend their first incident under supervision. It's probably between that eight to 20 hours, depending on the level of the skill of the participant, the, the newcomer. So that'll be um, a variant. The online stuff will take about six hours and the face-to-face -face will be currently pretty much like it is around about three sessions of a couple of hours each. So the, what we're aiming is instead of having to wait months to go to courses or whatever, they can actually start virtually immediately. Um, the assessment's probably the main one. That'll all be arranged uh, with local agreements and how the local districts want to run their assessment process. But the assessment will still be done. Um, face to, they will be face to face with our, with our assessors, credit assessors. Um, there'll be components ready um, at the end of the week, actually. Um, all the practical skills, we're calling them foundational skills, which are exactly the same skills as per the minimum firefighter, minimum skills. Uh, what we've done is we've just um, made uh, the training packages for each of the brigades really, really consistent. Uh, they'll be supported by videos. Uh, they'll be supported by an online pack, plus there'll also be hard copies going out as well. We've started building the online component and from that will come the face-to-face -face materials so they'll actually mirror each other so you won't be disadvantaged. And in fact, you know, you can do this program any way you choose. You can do part online, you can do part face-to-face, -face, whatever works for you. Uh, our role is to support brigades. We'll be doing a train-the-trainer for um, brigade training officers, skilled people within the brigades. We've got a a really good facilitator guide on how to run the training drills with all the tools and equipment that they need. Um, so skilled brigade members will be able to train the new firefighters. When the assessment's done, our, our thinking behind it is if you, it's been a while since you've been a brigade and you're rejoining after a number of years away from it, you can just do a challenge test. Um, also to the videos, that every drill will have a video which shows you what right looks like. So the idea of that will eventually they can have them on their phones. So if, if members want to practice themselves, they can actually keep going back to that video on their phones to, to practice. So there you have it, general firefighting program. It's going to bring some consistency back into the organisation. It's going to ensure that new members of CFA are trained to a safe standard in a minimal period of time and get them on the back of trucks under supervision. What it doesn't do though, is it doesn't take away from 
what you as a brigade, uh, you as a training uh, officer in a brigade or group, expect your people to do at a local level. All it does is apply a minimum criteria, a minimum standard um, that ensures that we have a consistent approach to dealing with training for new members. And then they're all yours uh, to do with what you like in terms of the standards you need to train them at. The other important thing about this is brigades can run this training and we recognise the important role that brigades um, play in delivery of this sort of training. So good luck for the summer and hopefully uh, we look forward to your feedback on the new General Firefighter Program.